Do you have a cat hammer and want to run it on your skid steer compact track loader and your mini excavator, but don't want to have to deal with the hassle of unbolting top brackets and hoses to switch between the two? If so, you might be interested in the skid steer MHE combination bracket setup from Caterpillar. Let's take a look at the skid steer side of this setup first. On the skid steer side, we've got this bracket with these two pins that allow us to pick up the hammer. This bracket includes these two 50 millimeter pins that interface with the hammer bracket. You'll notice that this top bore actually is open. What this allows us to do is put this pin in our bracket and then come in with the skid steer and pick up that hammer like a coupler system. Once we've picked it up, we can then slide this bottom pin through. To help with the alignment of the bottom pin, we've actually got a couple set screws down here that we can adjust so that when we pick the hammer up, it falls into place and these bores align automatically. We've also got these big open D-rings here so that when we go to put the hammer lines through, they're easy to slide through and it'll keep them out of the way to prevent them from getting snagged or damaged. You'll also notice we've got some really nice steps on here on the side and on the top. This gives us a nice safe way to enter and exit the cab of our machine. Now let's take a look at the excavator side of this setup. On the excavator side, we've got this bracket that bolts to the top of our hammer. On this bracket, you'll notice there are three pin bores. Which pin bore we use depends on what machine we're putting this on. When we're putting it on our skid steer machine, we'll use these outer pin bores. We'll also use these outer pin bores when we're putting it on a 305 or 306 excavator. When we want to put this on a 303 or a 304 excavator, we'll use these inner pin bores. I mentioned that our skid steer bracket uses 50 millimeter pins. Our excavators use smaller pins than that. So how do we adjust to the smaller pin size when picking this up with our excavator coupler? That's where these pin and bushing kits come in. Depending on which excavator we're putting this on, we'll have an appropriate size pin and bushing kit. These bushings will go in the bore on your bracket and then the pin will slide through and that will allow us to pick up this hammer with our excavator. Now that we've talked about our skid steer interface, our excavator interface, and our pin and bushing kits, let's take a quick look at how we actually install this on a skid steer or an excavator. So when we want to install this on our mini excavator, the first thing we're going to have to do is install our pin and bushing kits. So let's take a look at that. The pin and bushing kits have two bushings. You'll notice that the width of the shoulder on these bushings is different. You have a wide shoulder and a narrow shoulder. When we install these bushing kits, the wide shoulder needs to go on the top bore, the narrow shoulder needs to go on the bottom bore. Since we're installing this on a 305 excavator, we're going to use the outer pin spacing. So, install this one here, this one here, our other wide bore spacing up top, then we can install our pin. And our snap ring and do the same thing for the bottom. Now that we've got our pin and bushing kits installed in our hammer bracket, we're almost ready to put this hammer on our mini excavator. Before we do, there's a couple things we need to do to our excavator before we install this. The first thing we need to do is make sure our thumb is fully retracted and that our lock valves are in the lock position. The second thing we need to do is to make sure our machine is set to one-way flow. Now we're ready to hook up our hammer. We'll swing over with our coupler, just like we're picking up any other attachment. The last thing we need to do is hook up our hydraulic lines and then we're ready to go to work. Switching this over to run on our skid steer loader or compact track loader is a pretty easy process. The first thing we're going to need to do is obviously remove our pin and bushings that we use for our excavator.
Now that I've got my skid steer interface hooked up to my skid steer machine, I'm going to remove the lower pin from my skid steer bracket and set it to the side and remove my upper pin and slide it into my hammer top bracket. With our pin installed in our hammer top bracket, now we're ready to pick this up with our skid steer. One of the nice things about the skid steer bracket is that it's got a sight window cut just below the step, which makes it easy to come in and hook up to the hammer. The next step is to slide this pin through the lower bore. You may need to lightly tap it with a hammer to get it all the way through. Next thing we're going to do is install our washer and our locking pin. The last step to installing this on our skid steer is to route our hoses through these three D-rings and hook them up to our machine quick couplers. So there you have it. Without having to unbolt any hammer brackets or hose clamps, we were able to switch this hammer between our mini hydraulic excavator and our skid steer loader. If this is something you're interested in, be sure to contact your local cat dealer for more information.